In this video, we'll look at Graham's Law. Graham's Law relates the mass of gases or particles to their speed based on the kinetic molecular theory. In 1848, Thomas Graham determined experimentally that the rate of effusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its molar mass. This can be shown if we had two gases as the proportion R1 over R2 is equal to the square root of M2 over M1, where R is the rate of effusion and M is the molar mass. We can also use this formula for diffusion. Graham's Law can also be used as an approximation for the fusion of one gas in air. But since the fusion process involves two or more gases, it is only proportional and not equal. So therefore, for diffusion, we should consider it rate is proportional to the square root of the inverse of the molar mass. Note that at a given temperature, heavier molecules move more slowly than lighter molecules. This is what we would determine from the kinetic molecular theory. Let's go ahead and try a problem using Graham's Law. Determine how much faster a oxygen molecule moves on average than a carbon dioxide molecule at the same temperature. Now for this, we're just looking at how much faster the oxygen is compared to the carbon dioxide. So therefore the rate of the oxygen over the rate of the CO2 would be the speed of oxygen relative to that of CO2. Therefore we can use the rate of oxygen over the rate of CO2 equals to the square root of the molar mass of CO2 over the square root of the molar mass of oxygen. We just need to look up the molar masses for carbon dioxide and oxygen, plug that into the formula, and you'll see that we have the square root of 44.01 grams per mole divided by the square root of 32.00 grams per mole. We do this calculation and we see that the rate of oxygen over the rate of carbon dioxide is equal to 1.173.